was just this preacher of doom. But no, not really. This, uh, his extreme Calvinism leads him out into this field of absolute Well, his relation wonder. to natural theology to is his, attractive to yeah, yeah. Edwards yeah, yeah. on that part. Uh, but not as Calvinism, because no, Calvinism but no, no. But you know, you know. It, it he goes. <laughs> something breaks away when it comes now to America. Now you got Something no. you breaks away. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, are, you have the same view. But I'm just about saying. The there, there's a, but well, you no, have done. It is true. You have done something with Jonathan Edwards, which to me is just is, is sort of similar to what I'm saying with Alistair Crowley. Odd as it is that when I you, yeah, who you, did study. Uh, Jonathan Edwards with Richard Feinberg when I was in high school, yeah. terrific, and he made me throw, but still, it, it was sort of hard to not see it as Calvinist, and you have shown the limitation of looking at it that way. Yeah. In a way, so it actually is, I'm talking something about the poetic and rhetorical work yeah. of, of, yeah. of, of, we have always yeah. these forms of stigmatizing by breaking away, as yeah. you're saying, uh, uh, perhaps Gnosticism from uh, Neoplatonism, yeah. but actually they're, they're false they're false oppositions, if you understand That's right. the exactly. sources. Yeah. So and this is certainly what you've done yeah. with a series yeah. of things, yeah. certainly with yeah. Edwards. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, anyway, people oh. have often thought of, you know, Jack Spicer as a Calvinist, too. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I, that's Spicer. right, right, yeah. right. Well, and here's another favorite of, 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 of yours and your family, but of mine, too, earlier, which relates is, of course, Charles Sanders' purses clashing. Yeah. The clashing yeah. of yeah. those yeah. signs in, yeah. in yeah. purse. Yeah. This is a very interesting yeah, extension yeah. of the radical practices right. that we're seeing. Yeah. So therefore, so much pushback against Emerson as being a conciliator. Well, I understand why people say that, and somewhat conservative politically people want to say because of his attitudes yeah. toward Asia. Yeah. But in contrast to that, the Percy and Emerson That's is right. closer yeah. to what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And the sort of mysteries about Percy's personal life, and his oh, life oh, in oh, Paris, yeah. and then later on, uh, uh, and his sexual life. But I'm also yeah. saying Emerson, but reading uh, Emerson through Peirce, seeing that, that Peirce, that Emerson does also have those qualities Hector. of radical conflict. There's Hector coming out, waking up. You know, this is great.